It's a foggy morning here at Beach Creek Island Anchorage in Tennessee on the Tennessee River. I see ya in the fog at the anchorage here. We're getting ready to head to Aqua Yachts Marina, which is on the uh, at the opening of the town Big B Waterway in Counts, Tennessee, I believe. And uh, waiting for the fog to burn off a little bit and uh, we have to make a quick stop and get a little bit of fuel on our way and uh, we'll be heading uh, off to the end of the Tennessee River today. Uh, I'll be able to start the Tom Bigby Waterway tomorrow. I don't know if you can see this, but I am not digging this today. What in the world is that white stuff? Gross! Oh Lord, it's frost, frost on my bow, yuck. We got a really good anchor, it's called a Rockna. Do your anchor research because we've had this Rockna for a couple years now and we've never had an issue. It goes in, we never have to move it. Sand, gravel, um, shell, weed, it's a really, really good anchor. So just FYI, do your homework on your anchors. Captain Dan puts a bridle on the anchor that kind of just kind of keeps it a little still and then we bring that up and then we'll bring up the anchor and we'll be all set to go there's the bridle see how it works there a homemade bridle homemade bridle he made it's the uh fulcrum point a little lower fulcrum point a little more oh big science word or fulcrum. geometry probably the, probably the wrong word but some kind of fancy word that works and then we just hang it there. It helps the uh, scope. Helps the scope. Ooh, look at all these words we're using. Scope. Fulcum. Anchor. Woohoo! It gets the anchor point lower to the water. It gets the anchor point lower to the water. Ooh, look at me like I know what I'm talking about. Ha! <laughs> okay, I'm still not digging all these snowy footprints. This is so not good. We really want to ride up top. It's sunny and blue. And, uh, but it needs to be about a 90,000 degrees warmer. It's uh, 29 or 30 right now. Maybe, yay. There's Captain Dan getting ready. Should be leaving shortly as we pull up anchor and head south. <laughs> are at Pickwick Lock and Dam and we just got here um, we called the lock master he told us to hurry up so we could be next in queue so another barge and tow didn't sneak in between us so we wouldn't have to wait but there is one in the chamber it'll be at least an hour hour and a half he just went in the chamber so that means that we sit here so it's a lovely day it's um, nice and sunny not a cloud in the sky um, our buddy boats right there see ya the lock and dam is right there um, so we'll be going in in about an hour hour and a half so we dropped anchor and we're just gonna sit and enjoy the sunshine at 51 degrees here in Pickwick Tennessee just as predicted, just as we were told. So we'll be going in shortly. You can see that, there he is right there. All right, we are in the Pickwick. The gates are closing. The lockmaster said pin number seven was the best ride. Here we go. Hello. Get ready to head up. The last lock on the Tennessee before we get into the Tom Bigby or the 10 Tom Waterway. We're going up a ways. Up and away, my beautiful horizon bound. We are already on our way up, I see. Yeah. There's a bucket on here. A bucket? Yeah. 
Don't, don't kick it. It's going for a ride on the fin. <laughs> As we leave the lock, we're seeing the Pickwick State Park, and there's the big lodge we were at last year. We visited and had dinner. We stayed at the marina and had not, lots of nice bike trails there. Pickwick State Park. We are leaving the Tennessee River uh, about six miles down from the Pickwick Lock and heading into the Yellow Creek looking for Aqua Yacht Marina. We just got to Aqua Yacht in Mississippi. Uh, just turned up the Tennessee and came up the Yellow Creek a little bit. We'll be heading up to the Tom Bigby in the next day or two. We're getting fuel. Sun is set already. By the time we get to our slip, it might be uh, getting a little darker, but we made it and uh, it was a great run. Very sunny today, but chilly, like 50. <laughs> uh, but we're here at Aqua Yacht. We're fueling up. Here's a looper tip. If you're coming into a marina, Dan and I like to get fuel as on our way in. The reason being, we've learned, learned from our mistakes, that if you wait and get it on the way out, let's say you have a beautiful morning and you want to get out by 6, 7 a.m., the fuel docks might not open till 9, then you're kind of stuck and you're burning up daylight. So uh, try to get it on your way in. Just a thought. Billy has been fabulous here at Aqua Yacht. He answered all my questions yesterday. He was able to get a spot for us in today for both of our boats, Sia and Horizon Bound. He's been calling us back and giving us information and he stayed a little late to help us get fuel. Absolutely fabulous person, Billy at Aqua Yacht. Nighttime at Aqua Yacht. I don't know if you can see it, but the fog is just starting to form. <laughs> Tennessee River and heading into a something. <laughs>